making a quick video on how to plant your own 10 inch winter container for outdoors. Today you're going to need a pair of pruners, gloves if, gloves if you need gloves to make your container. Also you need a 12 inch pot of your choice. This is just a plastic container filled with soil all the way to the top. Make sure you water the soil before you start your container. Uh, the first step you're going to want to do today is put your spruce top in the middle of your container. Before you insert your spruce top into the soil, you want to make sure you make a fresh cut with your pruners. So after you put your spruce top right into the center of your container, make sure it's snug in there. Your next step is going to be using your Fraser Fur Evergreen. This is going to create your foundation of your pot. Uh, it's probably the most popular, most common type of Christmas tree and evergreen um, I know that we use here at the garden center. So you definitely want to make sure you cut those up because sometimes with the bottom you got some pieces, it's not going to insert into the soil perfectly, so you got to make sure you're doing some cutting. So with a few pieces, you just kind of cut the bottoms, make a fresh cut at the bottom with this around your spruce top. You're basically going to want to insert the pieces in a triangle around the spruce top here. Make sure when you're doing this that you keep the branches outward, like at this angle, because if you put it inward, you're not going to see the pretty green. Kind of do that in a triangle. So I did one piece here, second one was here, third piece, kind of like a triangle around your spruce top, and keep plugging the rest of your pieces around the spruce top to create your foundation. Okay, as you can see, I finished putting the Fraser fur around the spruce top to create our foundation, so it's evenly proportioned. The next step is going to be the Douglas fir. Again, another type of fresh evergreen. It's more on the lighter green side, taller branches. So you're going to have to be cutting some pieces. Again, a nice fresh cut at the bottom there. Again, with the Douglas fir, you're just going to be inserting it between the spruce top and the Fraser fir. Since it's more of a taller piece and airy, it's going to help fill in that little. Uh, empty spots, they're empty pockets. All right, the next two greens we're going to be using in the container. The next one is going to be um, Port Orford Cedar. It's going to give you a nice, long, wispy texture look to your container. Big pieces, make sure you cut those up. So that's going to look nice in there. After the Port Orford Cedar, you're going to be using White Pine. White Pine, again, it's going to come in some big branches. Very loose, needle-like. Same to the cedar, give you that nice draping effect if you like the, you know, the longer pieces in your container, that'll be the next one you want to place in there. All right, after you add the quarter fruit cedar and white pine into your container, the last and final step is going to be adding the accents to your container. I added some blueberry cedar, keep that to the front because it's very pretty with the blueberries. I inserted a couple sections of that. Also, um, inside cedar, which has a yellow bud to it, very pretty, nice accent to the front of your container. Also added a couple pine cones, you can use the regular brown ones or the white for some color. A couple dogwood twigs to give you some more height. Um, I also added some huckleberry, another nice uh, evergreen accent. And then finally, if you'd like to uh, add a bow, I added a nice red velvet bow to it. Kind of dry your eye if you want to you know, match something at the front of your house. Very easy container. This will last you until springtime, February, possibly March. So it's a nice container to last you all through winter until spring comes. Thank you for watching our video. I hope that you liked it. Um, make sure you visit our website for further details and information. We do sell the products here to make your own container. Stop in, get more info, sign up for one of our workshops. And we look forward to seeing you. Thank you.